you know, liar McCabe just issued an ultimatum that has liberals very nervous by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Disgraced former FBI director and serial liar Andrew McCabe is in deep, deep trouble. The long-awaited IG report is due out on June 14th and is expected to expose high levels of corruption and crimes at the very top of the FBI leadership. As a result, Andrew McCabe is now issuing an ultimatum. Either he gets immunity to testify or he'll take the fifth. For liberals who have stood by McCabe's side, this ultimatum has them very nervous. After all, innocent people don't need immunity, nor do they need to plead the fifth. The Russia hoax is crumbling before their eyes. The conservative tribune, this has to be making liberals very nervous. Less than two months after the release of a Justice Department Inspector General's report that showed just why former FBI Director Andrew McCabe deserved to be fired from his job, and with yet another Inspector General's report due for release any day now, McCabe is asking for immunity in exchange for his testimony to the Senate Judiciary Committee. And since that committee is investigating how the FBI handled the Hillary Clinton email scandal, that doesn't look good for Democrats at all. In a letter dated June 4th, the Judiciary Committee Chairman Senator Chuck Grassley, McCabe's attorney, wrote uh, to, uh, actually on June 4th, to uh, Judiciary Committee Chairman Senator Chuck Grassley. McCabe's attorney wrote that his client is willing to testify only if his words can't be used against him in potential future criminal proceedings. Under the terms of such a grant of use, of, uh, of use immunity, no testimony or other information provided by Mr. McCabe could be used against him in a criminal case, attorney Michael R. Bromwich wrote. And if the committee isn't willing to grant that immunity, uh, Bromwich wrote McCabe would simply refuse to testify. If this committee is unwilling or unable to obtain such an order, then Mr. McCabe will have no choice but to invoke his Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination, Bromwich wrote. Simply put, this doesn't look good for anyone involved with the Democrat perspective. Not former FBI Director James Comey or the FBI and the Justice Department under the Obama administration. Not former Attorney General Loretta Lynch. And most of all, not Hillary Clinton and former President Barack Obama. For liberals in the media, it might look even worse. Not that long ago, McCabe was being hailed by mainstream news outlets and openly uh, leftist websites as the upright man being spe smeared by President Donald Trump's administration. Washington Post contributing columnist Ronald Klain, a veteran of the Bill Clinton and Obama White House, who was an advisor to the Hillary Clinton campaign, published an op-ed in the Post portraying McCabe as a victim of Trump vindictiveness. It was headlined, I Stand with Andrew McCabe. At the liberal website Vox, a piece by e Ezra Klein was headlined, Donald Trump's corrupt firing of Andrew McCabe. At the radically left Mother Jones blogger, Kevin Drum wrote a piece in March titled, Andrew McCabe is completely innocent of wrongdoing. He backtracked a little after the IG report in April showed McCabe was maybe not so innocent after all. To be fair, all these pieces allowed for the possibility that McCabe might have done something technically wrong enough to get himself terminated, but the overall spirit was that under Trump, a corrupt federal government was crushing an essentially innocent man. Trump critics need that spirit for the liberal narrative to work, to uh, keep convincing many Americans that Trump's presidency is illegitimate and Hillary Clinton should have won the 2016 election. McCabe demand, uh, McCabe's demand for immunity, coupled with the idea that he will plead the Fifth Amendment to avoid potential criminal prosecution, shakes that narrative to the foundation. 
The right to avoid self-incrimination in a criminal case is guaranteed by the United States Constitution, of course, and no one is presumed guilty under the law. But when a former FBI deputy director is forced to invoke it in a case involving the potential corruption of a presidential campaign, there's likely something deeper going on. The idea that a man who was at the start of the FBI's election operation, the guy who worked closely with uh, fanatical anti-Trump FBI agent Peter Strzok and scheming now ex-FBI lawyer Lisa Page might have serious criminal matters to worry about as the Senate Judiciary Committee investigation plays out is putting the whole anti-Trump narrative in a new light. Headlines that go from McCabe is innocent to McCabe pleads the fifth are going to give Americans a different idea of what really happened with the FBI and the kid gloves investigation of Hillary Clinton that almost gave her the presidency of the United States. And that has to have liberals very, very nervous. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, because every time you go to a mainstream outlet, they're, they're always uh, uh, bashing Trump and exonerating everybody else. Let's see how this now looks when he has to plead the fifth. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.